I feel like if I still had my long hair, it would be much easier to like meet a guy. Immediately guys sort of think, oh no, she's got short hair. Let's not. So that's always been like a big insecurity. I feel like it is hard to meet people as a teenager just because I feel like there's such high standards when you're in school to look a certain way. I don't really wear dresses and as I've got short hair, and you know, I look different. I'm sure we'll find someone nice, Georgia. I'm certain we will. Thank you. All right. Potential boyfriend material for Georgia is Jordan, a young farmer in need of a helping hand with dating. I'm a pretty good goat milker. What's the technique then? You grab the udders and you pull down slowly. Wow, look at these flowers. <laughs> I like to make an impression. Yeah, well, <laughs> it certainly will make an impression. What's your name, please? Jordan. Let me see your flowers. There we are. Lovely. There's a lot of them. I don't pick them myself. You pick them yourself? Yeah. Where? From the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to find, like, someone that I can share the experiences of a young life with. So you go on many dates? No, not really. No, it's no? Not, this is kind of like a new thing, this. Really? Yeah. I've dealt with quite a bit of rejection since I've come to uni. Come with me. Got a lovely girl for you. I want to come out of the pattern of being, like, rejected and, like, ghosted all the time. I want to find someone that wants to want me. So you're at college? Yeah. Is that college as in a degree college? No, so I should be in uni now. I had to take time out of college. Um, I was in hospital. All oh, right. Um, I had cancer. Oh. Um, so I was having chemotherapy for, like, all of last year. So I was in hospital quite a lot. Yeah. I feel like at 16, all you should really be focused on is going to college or sixth form. And that was my main worry. I always thought, you know, only really old people got cancer. Never really expected it to be me. I just remember sitting in the waiting room um, and people were either coming out crying or coming out, like, you know, all happy. Yeah. So I went into the room and they were like, it's 98% chance that it's wow. cancer. It took a minute for me to process it and then I just burst out crying. The most heartbreaking thing, losing my hair. Yeah. I know that sounds probably no, like no, not yeah, as good no, to totally any get that. of like, anything my else hair, happened. Like, if I lost all my hair, yeah. I'd be like, wow. So that was me leaving school with long hair. I feel like if I still had my long hair, it would be much easier to like meet a guy. Immediately guys sort of think, oh no, she's got short hair. Let's not. So that's always been like a big insecurity. Everything's okay now though. I've been really? I'm glad. Now. The hair's yeah, growing back. The hair's growing back. <laughs> I like that you've got like a, like so much stuff's happened to you. But, yeah. Like, you're still keeping a positive yeah, attitude. Yeah, yeah. Shows a lot in a person. Yeah. I just feel like I'm a different person. It's just changed my whole perspective on everything yeah. in general. So I was just like, well, why not give this a shot? Well, I'm glad you have. Thank I'm you. having a nice time. <laughs> so am <am> I. <laughs> Everybody looks so nice. I know, like. Well, they wore a mascara and lipstick. <laughs> I don't like wearing makeup. No, that yeah, I like a natural look though. I prefer it. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as he came in, he just made me feel comfortable, like brought me flowers. I didn't expect to get spoiled that much at all, to be honest. 